It's the Joe Padula Show, Clarksville's conversation. Absolutely. Uh, Bay, I've, I've made it very clear um, that I'm done with, uh, with, with sports at the moment. Yeah. I just can't. I, I don't want politics. I, I, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, 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 I don't want to see people's names on helmets, mm-hmm. even when they are convicted felons. Yeah. And rapists. Yeah. Okay. I, I get what you're saying. Right. Okay. I, I don't need that. I used I used to have sports to get away from daily politics and you know the the hubaloo hubaloo of what's going on. Mm-hmm. But now I don't have that anymore. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe, maybe they're doing this flyover. Okay, military stuff. I, it was an honor to serve. I I, I love watching the the. The big flag get pulled out, the, the jets flying overhead, okay? Some say that could even be political, That's right? That's what I was sitting here thinking. Okay, okay, could be. But even when that happens here, let's take a look at this video. Let me pull it up so we can all take a look. And if you want to see exactly what we're seeing, just go to that Joe Padula Show Facebook page, go to the YouTube channel, and boom, here's, uh, here's, here's what took place. All right, so this is at the, uh, uh, this is Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who... Now has uh, Tom Brady. Woohoo! Oh. Right. How many jerseys <laughs> you gonna see this year with Tom Brady? I, I, I was in the car. You know Jody and Steve of uh, Journey's Eye yeah. Studio, mm-hmm. they're, and they're from New England, and the diehard Patriots fans. But now all of a sudden they're, they're Tampa Bay. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. They banned. They're, root, no, they're rooting for Tampa. Oh. Era, no, I still want the Pats to win. Era, oh, <laughs> uh, chowder, I want chowder, and uh, era, chowder. and uh, the Buccaneers are are, uh, are, are good too. I park my car uh, over there. Sound like a Chinese New Yorker. Well, they're Chinese. You didn't know that? I didn't. Oh, yeah, Jody and Steve. <laughs> they hide it well. Right, right. Jody and Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Right, if people can go, hey, bada bing, absolutely. I, you know what I mean? I could do that. Right. I was just bagging on your accent because it was awful. Yeah, let's take a look. So they're doing the flyover, and they don't realize that their mics are hot. <laughs> Shouldn't matter, but go ahead. Okay. <laughs> then, it, then again, concussions. Mm-hmm. Oh, be, oh, because Bay's a big Dallas fan, and Troy Aikman was a you're, uh, you're, you're, you're a commentator on an the National Football League, your mm-hmm. mic is presumed to be always hot. Always. Yeah. Always. Yeah. always. <laughs> you guys in here too, by the way. Yeah. It's always Learn recorded. that the hard right? way. <laughs> it's, it's always recorded. It's a lot of jet fuel just to do a little flyover. That's your hard-earned money and your tax dollars at work. Wow. That stuff ain't happening with Kamala Biden ticket. I'll tell you that right now, partner. It's a lot of jet fuel just to do a little flyover. That's your hard-earned money and your tax dollars at work. That stuff ain't happening with Kamala Biden ticket. I'll tell you that right now, partner. That was not an accident, how my many friends. Y- how so, ma- wow. Thinking about, <laughs> thinking about the connotation of what they said, they weren't talking to each other. No. Your hard-earned tax money. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so. knew his mic was hot. <laughs> so that was my first thought. All right, so there, there it was. Whoever's watching, well, by the way, ratings are in the toilet for uh, all sports across the board, except for one. Golf. Very good, Bay. <laughs> yeah. Very good. You know why? There's no politics in golf. <laughs> it's just everyone being quiet, yeah. hitting the balls. <laughs> shh, well, who wants to go when there's no fans? I mean, there's no, com- it's like voice like that, uh, That uh, what you call the sound bites of the applause. And yeah. It's just, it's well, it's interesting how they, how they have it with the basketball, with the technology. They, yeah, they, the cutouts. It's yeah. weird. It's, they, it's, they don't do the national anthem before golf games, no. do they? No. No. Okay. No. <laughs> no. You know what I mean? No. Oh, look, he's kneeling. No, no, he's just looking at his putt. Uh, right. He's <laughs> reading the green. Yeah. Oh, say, can you Looking at the angle. By the dawn's early light. All right, Bay. So you hear this, okay? What do you think? <laughs> I think it's funny. I don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't think that it was necessarily even political in the sense of I could imagine myself saying something like that. <laughs> like, oh, look at that oh, waste of jet fuel. You know, it, it doesn't. Nece- it doesn't necessarily have to to be taken in, in they, the worst possible. What light. do you think it meant, though? The and I thought it was interesting. He didn't say the Biden Harris ticket. It, did he say Kamala he Biden? He said yeah. the Kamala. Yeah. It sounded like Biden it, ticket. I'm not familiar with these people. It sounded like he was trying to do a funny voice too yeah, he when did. he said that, as if he was saying it 
as a character. Uh huh. That's not going to be happening under this ticket. As, <laughs> well, if, like, as if Biden's going to shut down the military flyovers for uh-huh. football games. Well, like what, what Chris said, he was he was he was in broadcast voice, right? He he was right. in you know because you got the hey you know it's Joe Padula and then you go hey everybody <laughs> <laughs> hey, traffic and weather top of the hour right right that stupid radio voice, <laughs> but uh, but it's interesting because Bay, do you? Do you think they knew that the mics were hot? <laughs> they probably forget. They probably forgot. Yeah. But these are these are broadcasters. I mean, th- this is Joe Buck who's done World Series commentating. The, the, these are the cream of the crop. They was bored. They were bored. <laughs> they were bored. Yeah. Right. Probably drinking a little bit. But, oh, <laughs> me, oh yeah. Hey, oh, you think they had a little sip? No, they did. Yeah. <laughs> he goes. You know they did. I would imagine that if they were having a conversation between each other, it'd be like. Man, do you see do you see that? Why are they wasting their money on that? That kind of a con that context. But he was he's pretty loud about it. But the thing is, they've been doing flyovers for years. Mm-hmm. You know, that was I'm just saying. You know. It sounded like a paid advertisement for the Biden Harris campaign. Ooh. It really did. I mean, I don't it really know. Saying did. That, Biden, that Biden's going to shut down fly flyovers and it ain't going to happen. On, you know, like your tax dollar. It was just the way it was. Where I I agree, it, it didn't sound conversational. It sounded very professional i guess if yeah you like. well they are professionals and, and well, yeah but and these are commentators that have it's to like be hey able chris uh, look at look at all that jet fuel man i mean i still say they was playing yeah. around sound know. like a plug <laughs> a plug I, that's what i think yeah. too yeah, sound like a plug. Well, i don't know if it was political or not <laughs> yeah i'm just coming from the musician entertainer stand standpoint if i'm <laughs> saying something to a buddy of mine on stage yeah it's going to be in a, a softer tone rather than like you not, said the hey, radio everybody. right right, right. Well, I'll be like, just imagine this Biden wins. How are we gonna have to announce things? Hmm. <laughs> now, the audience, like mentioned earlier, NFL, it, it, you know, ratings are, are, are terrible. Okay, uh, the people watching, the you know, uh, your far left environmentalists are not football fans. They're not watching football. These, the ones that they're catering to, are not obviously not tuning into football. How do you know? Because of the ratings are down. <laughs> They're in the tubes. Yeah. Yeah. And if if what was you know they're they're getting woke and promoting you know uh, uh, political stuff was working, ratings would be through the roof. Well, it could also be too. You got to think we just came out of the COVID thing. A lot of people haven't been working. I personally know multiple people who've canceled their cable. You know, and so people might. This just, is network TV. I understand that, but it, you still can't watch it unless you've got rabbit ears or a converter box. I mean, it's like, in other words, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm just. No, I'm fair excuse, but you know? it's it's because they're pissed. Yeah. People are done. Now, Joe, uh, Joe Buck, okay. No, he didn't say. It. Troy Aikman tweeted. Now, okay, he he finally came out. Uh, let me let me uh, let me fi- let me rephrase that. Whole <laughs> <laughs> like like most anymore. Dallas Cowboys, he finally came out. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Bay. I know that's your team. Bay's <laughs> <laughs> mad. <laughs> it's all right. My team hasn't won a game all year. <laughs> the Giants. The Giants. I haven't watched them all year either. But uh, Aikman tweeted that uh, he's an unwavering patriot, and that he supported uh, he supported the men and women in the armed forces. And uh, Buck, uh, he, uh, he addressed the comments and how it all came about. He explained that the audio was recorded during a rehearsal before the Bucks packers broadcast and not a hot mic. What? That makes absolutely no sense. Okay, that, that, this is what they're saying. They yeah. don't rehearse the flyover. <laughs> <laughs> no. How do, they, first, how, how do they, they rehearse the cold mic commentary? That makes absolutely no sense at all. But uh, what, as for what was said during the rehearsal, mm. which included uh, Aikman okay. saying, you know, uh, that stuff ain't happening with the Kamala Biden ticket, right? Actually, that would make a lot of sense if it was a rehearsal. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Because, because you're joking around. Mm-hmm. You're you're imagining yourself saying the exact opposite of what you should actually say on right. camera. Right. Like if you and I were rehearsing, and I come on, lawyer Wayne here, worst lawyer in the world. And don't <laughs> hire me, or you're going to jail. You know, <laughs> just cutting up. Well, um, Joe Buck said that Troy Aikman was repeating a, something like, from a person on the Fox NFL crew had said the night before. <laughs> Here's what Joe Buck said, uh, Troy. Uh, Troy in the microphone is repeating something 
that he heard the night before from an unnamed person on our crew saying that the person happens to be very far left. Oh, well, under Biden-Harris, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I do believe Troy Aikman, and I don't like Troy Aikman. <laughs> I believe he was being sarcastic and that he was having uh, fun at the expense of someone who's far left that does work for Fox NFL crew. Yeah. Now, that, that like, totally, I could see that. That would make sense. Because... To be honest with you, Troy Aikman, known for Dallas Cowboys, and unfortunately, they're known as America's team, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. Jeez, Jim. You ever seen a black man turn mm. red? Just look at Bay right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> the unreal. The steam's coming out of his ears. Yeah, so uh, he said uh, he went out to say if you uh, know Troy at all, he was being 100% sarcastic. Hmm. Do you buy it? <laughs> no, no, no. I'd have to hear him say the word partner more than once. <laughs> because he he said like Padna, like he was putting right. on some sort of voice. Like it's a saying. lot of jet fuel just to do a little flyover. That's your hard-earned money and your tax dollars at work. <laughs> that stuff ain't happening with Kamala Biden ticket. I'll tell you that right now, Padna. Okay, I, I can hear the sarcasm. See? Right? After hearing the explanation yeah. and then hearing it again, <laughs> you, can, you can pick out the sarcasm. Jeff Fuel, just to do a little flyover. And they waited. Like, That's your like hard earned school. money uh -huh. and your tax dollars at work. That stuff ain't happening with Kamala Biden ticket. I'll tell you that right now, partner. Yeah. <laughs> partner. <laughs> partner. You know what? Yeah. Troy Aikman, Joe Buck. I'm sorry I prejudged when I first heard about this. So they're not canceled? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're not calling for their positions to be... No. <laughs> we all know no. how much, how much Joe it. loves cancel culture. I, I, Excluded from polite society. I don't, think, yeah, I, I don't think anyone should be ever canceled or anything like that, you know, uh, for for having a, uh, a, a belief. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it was sarcastic. Okay. I think it was a mistake. I, I still think they don't think that that was being recorded and broadcast it out there no that maybe you're right they did have a few drinks <laughs> right but there you go all right anything else on this one negative ghost Rider. did we cover it all ghost Rider. So who right. they voting for? what's that say it again so who they voting for i don't know i don't know i have no idea but uh i, I do think they were mocking their uh, one of their far left uh, employees there colleagues mm. <laughs> all right it's the joe padula show out of bing clarksville's conversation